Hey guys, this is Valmore. Uh, this is going to be my first Splash Network video, and hopefully you guys will learn something from this uh, so that we can all become better. So I've just started up a little team game here. Uh, it looks like it's going to be three on three, and I am playing on the Lavender team, and the game should start here in a second. So the first thing you want to remember when you're first starting Blast Network is that not dying is more important than getting kills. I know, surprising, right? You want to try and stay alive all the time. Every time you die, you give your other team a point, and if you kill yourself, you give the other team a point. So even if you get zero kills, if the other team just kills themselves over and over and over again, you're still going to win. And while that might not seem like the most logical thing all the time, uh, it, it's true. So don't worry too much about getting kills, especially when the game first starts. Right, you've got your three power-up types. You've got your bomb radius, your speed, and your bomb count. And the first thing you're going to want to do right when the game starts is get as powerful as possible before you engage anybody. So you're going to start in a little corner or so, and the first thing you want to do is try and uh, get as much room as possible without having to engage anybody. Now this guy's already started to engage me, but I just opened up this huge spot over here. And I'm going to try and basically find some power-ups without having to take on this guy just yet, because I'm not powerful enough. He's going to use some noob techniques, and that's okay. He just killed himself. So, now I've got quite a bit of space. I can start collecting some power-ups. Right, I want to get speed up to 5, because 5 is as high as it goes. There we go. There's a couple. There we go. So now I'm as fast as I can possibly be. The next thing, without a doubt, that's important is you need to increase your radius. And in order to do that, I gotta click the orange power-ups. So right now I've got four. Generally speaking, before you can really start to take over the board, you're gonna want about eight. And sometimes they come a little faster than others. Just remember to stay patient. You don't want to try and, and get ahead of yourself and start attacking people if you're not powerful enough. If you're not powerful enough, then it doesn't matter how much you attack them, you're just not going to get the kills. Alright, so I'm up to 7 now, and make this 8. So here's the next couple rules you want to follow when you start going on the attack. Uh, number 1, try and stay towards the bottom of the screen. Uh, the way the camera works in Spiral Knights, you can just see more when you're at the bottom than when you're at the top. If you're at the top, you're more likely to run into some rogue explosion from the bottom, and you don't want that to happen. So the next thing is to find a spot where you can kind of run around uh, without being impeded. And then just start laying down bomb lines. And find a pattern that works for you. I have one I call the zigzag, which is like so. You got two bombs, uh, two bombs. Then you shift directions and lay two more. And it has a really nice kind of, oops, double attack. And you know sometimes you get caught in the blast. So you're gonna die. It doesn't matter how good you are. You're gonna die every now and then. The first thing you want to do when you die is try and get powered up again. Because if you're not powerful, then you're going to have a hard time getting things started. I've already got most of my speed, but I don't have a whole lot of power, so if I start laying down attacks, they're not going to go anywhere, and I'm not going to get any kills. So I've already got my power back up to 10. Now I can start the process once again. And remember, I've only died once so far. So I've managed to keep most of my power-ups all the time. There's really no secret to staying alive other than trying to find a safe spot. And attacks tend to come in waves, where everyone will lay down their bombs and everyone will hide. And you want to follow those waves. When everyone's hiding, you need to be hiding too. Try and find... If you see a bomb blast coming from horizontal, then concentrate on those first. Don't even bother looking at the vertical explosions. Uh, as long as you can dodge one direction at a time, 
then you can switch your position. Uh, the key thing to remember is to try and use subtle movements. Uh, don't run around like a crazy guy. Uh, the more you run around, the more likely it is you're going to get hit by something. So try and find a safe spot and then stay still. Alright? Like so. So I'm going to continue my zigzag attack here. See if I can rack up some more kills. If you see an enemy start to come in while you're laying down your patterned attack, just try and stay away from him. Right? You don't want to get any close encounters or else you might get trapped. It's when a player lays a bomb while you're walking and you get stuck between two bombs. Uh, that happens when a guy gets too close while you're busy doing something else. And I am busy right now killing everybody. And I don't want to get trapped. So. You just want to watch out, and when other people are coming at you, just stop what you're doing and find a safe spot. There you have it. So I got most of those kills without really having to attack anybody. I stick to the bottom of the screen, I laid down my pattern of bombs, and I found safe spots when all the waves of bomb explosions started coming through. Follow that pattern. Now, once all the bomb explosions disappear, you can go on the attack again. As long as you're able to not die consistently, you can keep all your power-ups, and if you're keeping your power-ups, you'll always be the most powerful person on the board. So this one, I got 9 kills, 1 death, uh, first place, and pretty much carried the team to victory there. And yeah, I had some team kills, but you know what, sometimes your team just needs to know when to get out of the way. So hopefully I'll see you guys in some guild matches soon. Uh, hopefully I will also add some more videos, uh, given some techniques on where to lay bombs specifically on certain boards. Uh, I have some boards that are definitely my favorites, and if you know where to lay the bombs, you can pretty much rule the board the whole time. Alright guys, I'll see you in guild. Thanks a lot.